Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average show. Just like my dad intended when he spent the bulk of his life collecting drink recipes. We have over 11,000. And today, we're not sharing any of them with you. No, we're not sharing any of those. We're making shit up as we go along. We are. <laughs> yeah. We're not making it up. We have just taken some creative liberties. Um, but we are, we have tasted a lot of those drinks and we are bringing you recipes that we think taste the best. So sit back, enjoy, please try this at home. Enjoy. So in our last episode, we gave you guys some standard issue, terrific drinks. Eddie mm -hmm. made a mojito, I made a B-52. We kind of alluded to it. Part of the backstory is we were testing stuff. We started adding things and trying mm -hmm. things and, you know, tweaking things. Right. So some of the drinks that we actually came up with were good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. really good. So we're gonna just share them with you. The mojito, I spent a lot of time trying to, to get it to not taste bitter. Um, it was a struggle. Um, there's a fine line when you're muddling the mint too. Getting the mint flavor and then, holy crap, that's bitter. And over sweetening. Mm -hmm. Over sweetening, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways you can really screw that drink up. So in, in some of the different, different uh, iterations of that drink, I added a few different things. And one of my wife's new sayings is if it doesn't taste good, Add ginger beer. It <laughs> makes things taste better. We had when we were working on our, our margarita um, episode. A couple times it didn't taste that good. I put a little bit of ginger beer in it. And it actually, makes it taste better. Okay, Vince, you're going to make a ginger mojito. Um, what you want to start with is you're gonna have to muddle, just like you did last time on the regular mojito. So once you put a <laughs> muddle that mother, <laughs> put about uh, those are small mint leaves, so maybe a dozen mint leaves in your in your glass there. Okay. And maybe a couple more. Perfect. Okay, now you want to put uh, just under an ounce of lime juice per drink. So you see that's just about, just shy of two ounces. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but I noticed three quarters of an ounce wasn't quite enough. One ounce is too much. So depending on the lime, it's going to be right around there. And with mojitos, you got to play that sweet, bitter. Yeah, you it's, get, it's a tightrope. Yeah, you definitely have to kind of check the balance there. Um, we're going to put instead of two ounces or one ounce per drink like we did to the regular mojito, we're doing three quarters of an ounce because I'm putting ginger beer which does have sugar so you want to be careful. So go ahead and put three quarters of an ounce per drink of simple syrup and then you're going to muddle. Homemade. Homemade simple syrup. Always check out our video coming soon. Actually this is like newborn. About an hour old. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, now that you've muddled that, go ahead and put in two ounces per drink of light rum. Okay. In here? Yes, in there, and then we're going to shake it up. Okay, now you want to get your strainer there. And that's one of the reasons why we're, we're shaking this as opposed to just building it. When I'm drinking a cocktail, out of the straw, I don't want to worry about the mint leaves again. Here's your pink straw. I don't want to get the mint leaves stuck in the straw, so the little the little flecks you see in there I think are going to be nice. So go ahead and get that evenly distributed between the two glasses. And then once you get that in there, that's probably pretty good. <laughs> so now you want to top it off with about two ounces of ginger beer per drink. And I have an extra strong ginger beer. That's probably pretty good. So this is just substituting the club soda that we used in the other mojito. And then we'll put in a couple sprigs of mint. Before you do that though, make sure you give it a little stir just so everything kind of gets distributed. Okay. We're going to spank these? Yeah, one, just, just a single spank. It's only been kind of bad. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> what it does is it kind of... How spank. bad is it? <laughs> when you spank it, it just kind of expresses the oils a little bit and just kind of wakens it up. A little bit. That's good. Yeah. Put that in there and then we've got a couple little candy pieces of candy ginger there. And that is a ginger mojito. And there you go. Thank you, sir. So it, after the, you know, you, you, they call it spank the mint, but really what you're doing is you're just yeah. kind of opening it up a little bit so you can That's smell awesome. a little bit more. Yeah. It's just a little thing. And there you go. Cheers. Now what's cool about this, you guys, is um, this is what happens when you just have fun with it. Right. You know, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're just, we're, we're playing with these things. It's, it's, it's fun. You should do the same thing, mm -hmm. I think. 
Yeah, you're never gonna taste new things until you're out there just, oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Now this is new for me, okay? I didn't try this. I know he tested it. Oh, that smells so I good. Didn't. And I think Kim's gonna like this. Mm -hmm. His wife is named Kim. And she's big on ginger. This might be one of her new drinks. This is cool. This yeah, is really good. good. Good stuff. So there you go. There's your ginger mojito. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Yeah, I'll right. give you two drinks because you're lush. <laughs> Hold on, we need still shots. Those are really good, you guys. You really gotta try that. Yeah. Well, you're gonna make some derivatives with the B52. We actually spent over a week playing with this thing. We found that the basics of Kahlua plus two other alcohols, for the most part, makes really good drinks. Okay. Right here, um, okay, so what we're, what we're looking at is we're looking at Kahlua, which is a mixture of rum and coffee liqueur. You have Irish cream, and then you have an orange liqueur of some sort on top. We put blue curacao in it because it's blue, and like I mentioned in the previous episode, I kind of enjoy World War II stuff. There were some B-17s that were painted blue, and then unpainted metal, and you know the undersides were black so that they could bomb at night, mm. da, da 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 Gave it a whirl, worked out great. So what Eddie's gonna do is he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna put his Kahlua on the bottom, one ounce, we're gonna put an ounce of Irish cream on top, and then we're gonna put an ounce of blue curacao, which is another orange liqueur, on top of that. Okay, so what okay. we're gonna do, mm -hmm. and I think that we've already mentioned this, but just in case we haven't, blue curacao, which is a orange liqueur, an orange liqueur, so it floats, it's thin, it's cool because of the color, there was a squadron of B-17s from World War II that was painted in these colors. During the course of the war, as the Allies really got air superiority, they quit spending money on camouflaging aircraft. They didn't paint them anymore for any purpose other than to identify themselves to each other so that we didn't shoot ourselves down because there was no more Air Force on the other side. And so they put bright colors on stuff. There were yellows, there were greens, there were blues. B-17. And that is really cool. That's like really bright and colorful. What you really are going for with this mixture of things is the lightest on the top, the thickest on the bottom, and that's gonna give you your layers. And, and you guys see the point here. I mean, you know, when you play with these recipes like this, you can make so many different things and really just make it your own. And you'll find drinks, you're like, wow, that tastes amazing, or hey, that sucks. And that's okay. I mean, be willing to be, to be creative to fail miserably or to succeed. It's pretty cool. Have fun with it. This is what we're doing. Yes. And yeah. if you liked what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple things. Uh, like us on, uh, or uh, give us a like on YouTube because hopefully you're already watching it there. Smash that subscriber button. Hit the subscribe button as hard as you can. Don't break your mouse. Facebook. Like us on Facebook. We'd love for you to do it because Vince and Lisa do a great job, but it's very, very funny content out there. And then um, share it with, with your friends on Facebook and various other social media outlets. And we'd love to grow this community, get even bigger, and do some really cool stuff for you guys. Go ahead and follow us on our blog at Average Show Drinks. We're going to go into a little bit more detail on all these different bomber shots. I will put pictures. They're not all gorgeous. I mean, you can see the difference here. One thing oh, to note. Yeah, this is something that we wanted to bring up. So if you're not ready to take a huge shot, let's say for the sake of argument, you are already a couple shots in. <laughs> <laughs> Stir it up, it tastes the same, and it becomes a sipping drink. You can't sip something that's layered, because oh, all you're gonna good. do is you're gonna get one, you know, one drink in the, in, in the first place. Yeah, it's a big shot, so this just allows you to have options if you choose. And you know, it's actually, if, if you get it, if you look in our book, which we're eventually going to put together, mm -hmm. some of these drinks are actually made to be shaken. The B-52 and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so there it is. Thank you. Please subscribe. If you have any ideas, questions, comments, complaints, go ahead and send us pictures of what you did. Tag it Average Show Drinks. Come on, Sarah. Drink Thank responsibly. Please drink responsibly. And thanks for watching. Thank you.